Hi everybody! I've got a 30 minute soul journey session that I'm doing for a client and the request is just to share wisdom so no energy work. So I'm going to go ahead and read the goals here and then get started. All right, goals are can you channel Sophia, mother creatrix of all life? No energy work on me, please. Go straight to her and ask her if I'm from the blue rays. But more important, ask her where my wizard staff is. Concentrate on this topic. Where, Sophia, is my wizard staff? And when will it fi finally arrive? Okay, this is interesting. I mean, just a moment, I'm going to absorb this request in here. Okay. Hmm. Okay. All right, I'm ready. <laughs> All right, let me get in the zone here. I, I'm sitting, there's a black mountain, and I'm sitting on top this black mountain, and I'm in deep pondering thought, and the sky is black around me as well. And from this place on top of the black mountain, there's quite a substantial distance um, between this place and then where Mother Sophia is. Just a minute here. There's sensitivity that she's showing me in, in reflection to your heart, okay? And it creates sensitivity. I mean, I feel sad. I find this black mountain quite beautiful. You don't see a mountain that is black. So it's unique. It's different. And she's showing me that she's coaxing you to go higher. She shows me that you are in deep pondering contemplation. I mean, she shows me that your eyes and your forehead is, I mean, your deep, deep thought about this. And she doesn't want you to be in deep thought about this because it's creating a distance between her guidance and you. It's uh, when you're going into deep thought, she's showing me that it, it is becoming a human, um, a human achievement when this is a spiritual achievement um, that is taking place between the human realms and spirit realm kind of thing. So if you're focusing on this in the mind, you aren't going to be able to find what you're looking for because it's not of the mind. It's of energy. It's of the spirit realm. This is really, really important. So you can't look for it. You can't hunt it down. You can't try to find it. And when I speak this message, I can feel um, it creates friction in the heart. And there's, there feels like frustration. I mean, she's showing me these type of emotional responses. Because there's a real longing for this. A real longing to um, have this... Um, access to this, okay? So wizard staff is also a frequency. Um, so I can tell that this wizard staff <laughs> is got a lot of meaning to you. <sighs> okay, another uh, shift here in the message. Just give me a second. <sighs> okay, she's showing me something else here. Let me see how I can express this. It's sort of like talking about 
It's why isn't it here? Where did it go? Why have I lost it? When will I find it? When is it going to return to me? And these questions are interconnected to something else. Not from specifically you, but some other part of you is actually really um, expressing this need. And it feels like another time in another place, not from this world, from some other world. And now that is channeling through you, funneling through you, and you long to have um, a, a return to balance in association with this. Wizard staff. We aren't talking about blue rays as of yet. We're talking specifically about wizard staff. So this mountain has meaning as well. And she asks me if I can find my way to the part of you where this is coming from. And it's somehow in conjunction with this black mountain. And this wizard staff illuminates. So what is black now becomes illuminated into its true color, into its true appearance. Because if black is coating it, then we can't really tell what it is. We can't really see it for sure. But there's something about the meaning of the wizard stuff that creates illumination, true clarity. Actually, true clarity. And without the wizard staff, then there is sort of a... There is a lack in true clarity. This is super important. I mean, I can feel like your soul. <laughs> I can feel this is like um, longing, okay? It's like literally vibration, vibrational longing. And she's extremely sweet. So Sophia is extremely sweet. I mean, very, very kind. She's, she's delightful. It's interesting because I'm seeing a, a, a reflection of, of how she's presenting herself in this session. And she uh, kind of looks like, um, like a, a romance era or Victorian era, something of this nature. And she's quite ornately dressed, like um, a queen of, of a time when... Um, Everything was very ornately done, very extravagant as well. And she has like quite a body about her. So she, she has this extraordinary large dress because she's got a, lo a large chest and big hips and body. She's got a lot of body. And um, it's kind of like a golden um, yellow <laughs> type satin um, and white ruffles. And um, I mean, a different, um, very ornate design. And she has extremely large hair. <laughs> she's fantastic. You can't miss her. I mean, you can see her and you can just say, wow, <laughs> that's a lot there, but I like it. <laughs> I really, really like it. There's something about hugs as well. When there's a lot of body to hug, it's so delightful. It's like you can get lost in that squeeze, you know, and it's great. It's a great squeeze. So it's something about wonderful hugs too. <laughs> she's very womanly. She's very motherly. She's all woman. I <laughs> I really like her a lot. Okay. I can't get, I can't uh, move my eyes away from her and just like sort, sort of really enjoying this, um, this experience of her, um, how she's revealing herself right now in this way. It's wonderful. Okay. All right. I'm reverting back to the mountain. All right. And the wizard staff. There's a reason why I redirected the attention. Um, it's to bring a, um, a joyful inspiration and um, lightheartedness. Um, lightheartedness is important to the message because deep thought can distract us from what life is, can really be the, the real joys of life, right? The lightheartedness. And is the wizard staff a serious thing? It feels quite serious to me. Um, but could it be a lighthearted thing too? So we're trying to bring more of this uh, lighthearted energy into the process of the discovery of the wizard staff, which is exciting, which is delightful. It's not a daunting thing. It's not a, a longing that uh, is stretching us thin. It's, it's actually a wonderful thing. It's an extravagant thing. So she wants you to get happy about it. 
um, and feel the joy of happiness inside your heart when it comes to thoughts and feelings about this. Because obviously we're human, so we're going to have thoughts and feelings. Um, but you have the power to enjoy them. And she's talking about the feeling of longing. Um, that can be joyful too. It also can be um, impatient, you know. It can also be confused and lost because of the question of when and now time. And also, where? Where is the calling or the longing? Where's the inspiration coming from? It's coming from a different part of yourself and it's not coming from this lifetime. <sighs> but obviously it's funneling through you and it is reaching you in this lifetime. And it is uh, something more than that because there's a longing within your heart to bring more illumination or more light into this world. And not only for the world and for everybody here, but also for yourself because you, uh, you thrive and you enjoy the ability to see with more clarity. And we're talking about seeing beyond, you know, so expanding the third eye or expanding the ability to perceive so not to perceive superficially, but to understand something beyond, um, to expand, right? This uh, wizard staff has a lot of different information about it. It feels like it has emotions itself. It feels like it too is a person in a way because it, it, it expresses itself. Um, so when you have longing, when you um, desire, when you um, rejoice in the thought of it, when you feel deep about it, it too um, is part of these emotions. It's a living consciousness. And it breathes fire. But they show me a wizard staff, but it has a crystal in it. And within the crystal is a burning white flame. Ah. I am experiencing silence right now. And in the silence, there is a, an idea. The idea is uh, she, she's clearing your mind, clearing your heart, clearing your senses. And this is an important message. It's a bit complex. So it's along the lines of when we get attached to wanting something, um, we start to create energies related to the want. But if you don't want anything, now you are unlimited. There's limitless opportunities. But when you want something so bad, you get tunnel vision and you focus only on that thing that you want. When there's limitless possibilities. And she's showing me this too. Obviously, there's quite a spectrum of meaning to this wizard staff. <sighs> spectrum of meaning, all right. Okay, so she she is showing me um, the same scene, but this time you have cleared your mind and you are at peace with your persona today that has no wizard staff. She's showing me now the scene and, and its meaning in a new way, if that were disappeared, so to speak. Who are you without it, is what she's saying. Who are you without it? Are you not enough? Hmm. And I see that this is really powerful. 
but I see that this uh, crystal that I saw with the white flame in it, um, I see you discovering it inside yourself. You acknowledging that you are the wizard staff. You acknowledging that the flame, this white flame of illumination is within you. You've worked with this energy before. You know this stuff already. I mean, that's clear. This is coming from a real time and place when this is extremely understood by you. And now it's rising to the surface of who you are right now. Um, but we're working with it in a new way. She says she can't give it to you. She can't give you what you already have. And so if you can't see that you already have it, then when will you have it? You're, she's showing me the many stages of the meaning of this and how it creates many emotional fluctuations. And she shows me this conversation too creates um, response. Hmm. This is neat. This is different. <sighs> <You're... laughs> Man, she's painting so many different pictures, so many different ideas. Okay. Uh, this next image, you're blind. You can't see anything because you're blind, literally. You can't see. You are born without the ability to see anything. So what does illumination mean to you if you can't see anything? And what does one who is blind need a wizard staff for? Would it be useless to a blind person? Man, that's powerful. She is something else. She really has a true sensation of the the extraordinary span of emotions of being human. I mean, I feel that this struck a chord with you. And she, she shows me, she allows me to feel that these conversations are changing the piano, the sounds of your piano. Every um, different uh, perspective that she shares, it creates a new sound to your piano. Um, of understanding and relationship with this. And this is interesting because she is showing me the more that you let go, the, the higher that you rise and the closer to her you become. As in, the closer to her source energy. Obviously, we're human, so we're really just channeling more divine wisdom and light through ourselves, more source energy through ourselves. But to be source, we're human. I mean, we're only going to be so much in our life, and that's exactly what we came here to be, right? But she shows me that the more that you allow yourself to be free of the want, you discover there is more power to this. There's a lot more power to this. So she shows me the version of time where you explore doing this. That is, if you choose to, okay? Because these are all different potentials um, to explore the many sides of your emotions and your connection with the wizard staff, which also seems to be a person, which also parallels to being a reflection of yourself. Interesting. All right, let me get back into where I was. There's just so much interesting movement going on here. I mean, I feel like I'm like tap dancing, very specific taps, <laughs> very specific dances. This dance, that dance, this other dance. <laughs> see this, see that, see it now this way. <laughs> She's really interesting. Okay, let me get back into this. All right, letting go of wants 
and the power this creates within yourself, I see you rising to her level. What does that mean to you? She shows me you bring the wizard staff with you. So, boy, she is so interesting. She's showing us yet another matrix of ideas, okay? Because you need to see through the lens of quite an extraordinary, I mean, complex orb of understanding here. This wizard staff is also a reflection of why she's communicating in this way. Because it's complex. It's not a superficial, straightforward thing. This is a complex thing. <sighs> So she shows me that you have let go of wants and you rise up to her level and I see you as the wizard staff. I see you and I see the wizard staff illuminated within yourself. Then I see her take the wizard staff out of you and then just let it go to wherever it goes. Like dropping it off the side of the side of a cliff. She says uh Nobody can take anything from you unless you want them or you allow them to. Nobody can take your heart or your soul or your wizard staff because it already is a part of you. And don't let anybody give you the impression like they can take your wizard staff and throw it away because they cannot. She needs you to know that. Nobody can take a part of you and throw it away. And she hopes that you wouldn't take a part of yourself and throw it away. She knows human beings are vulnerable to doing that. She's not necessarily saying you are doing that. She really needs you to know this message, really important one. She's giving you the best hug of all time and you're getting like squished into her body and it's great. <laughs> it's really great. It's like being a kid and having the biggest stuffed animal of all time and it's like a giant stuffed animal that takes up like so much room and you're just getting squished into it and it's alive holding you and snuggling you and it's like great. That's what she's like. She's like that. She's great. Like, she's so ornamental and ornate in this image. She's very fancy. <laughs> She's delightful too. <sighs> so she's showing me a higher dimensional version of herself and how high you can raise your vibration and the many different personas of you that you will find at different dimensional uh, places, different dimensional levels. And she has versions of herself at every dimension just as you do, just as your wizard staff does. Your wizard staff is located in all realms in all times, just as you are located in all realms in all times. So, you're standing here with this um, ornamental self, right? And she's smiling so big at you. And you are called now to go yet higher. Wow. This version of Sophia is a, a teacher, a master teacher. And a master teacher is both the dark and the light. So it teaches through love and through challenge, okay? And she teaches both, through love and through challenge. Because uh, creation and destruction are twins in a way. It's like uh, creation needs destruction in order to create again, you know? And so they work together as a team. They work together as lovers. They both need each other, you know? And so she's working together as a lover um, with both the creative and the destructive sides of nature. And so she's a master teacher in both, okay? 
So it's a totally different experience of her. <laughs> totally different. She's not some European queen or <laughs> gives really extraordinary hugs. She's uh, like the mother energy, you know. She's uh, a little more challenging than that here at this higher dimension. And she's helping you to... Um, Oh, I mean, she just shows me a tree that grows and grows and grows and grows and grows. It just continues to grow. And you are one of these trees. And she shows me that you are growing up to yet a higher dimensional plane. Higher than this one. All right, I'm supposed to stop right here. And she's asking me to go to the consciousness now of the wizard staff. As I perceive it, as I perceive her. So if the wizard staff is alive or has consciousness, then I can find it. As I have also found her consciousness in different dimensional forms, different expressions of self. So now she's asking me to go to the wizard staff. <sighs> okay. All right, just it's just a change in energy here. <sighs> okay. This is interesting. <sighs> totally different f feeling to it. I feel the color of ivory. I feel uh, like um, laid to rest like Sleeping Beauty, but not really asleep, right? Because Sleeping Beauty is still alive. She's just under a spell kind of thing. And this color of ivory is somehow um, reminds me of that feeling of uh, it's dormant, a feeling of being dormant. And Sophia is, is welcoming me to share more of my experience here. And it, it looks like a typical wizard staff, but it has changed its form a bit. So originally I saw it as golden like your typical golden staff, it has some ornamental aspects, but it's pretty much a um, cylindrical staff. And then it has this uh, crystal piece, but it seems to be held inside of a compartment um, and the gold kind of surrounds it. But you can still see the crystal inside. Um, this um, is sort of like a white oak. And this too has a crystal, but it also seems to have a component that is above it too. It sort of comes around, so the crystal is held inside. But I do, I touch the third eye, what I would describe as the third eye of this wizard staff, and is not the crystal, it's just above it. That's what I do. And I tell it that it is time to wake up now. And I see the wizard staff turns into many feathers, white feathers. And it feels like many birds flying, white doves flying. And it brings back really fond memories. And I see a girl and she's cheerful. And she's clapping and she sees these uh, doves flying from a, a window of like a castle tower. And uh, it's magical to her. And I look back and I see that the wizard staff is still dormant in the white oak. And I get the feeling of ivory. And I return to Sophia at the highest dimension that I'm accessing her thus far which is this master teacher. And she's talking about destruction and creation. And what do those mean to you? 
So if she were to destroy your wizard staff, would that create sorrow? Would that be a death? And she reminds you that there is no such thing as death. Because things must be broken down in order for them to be reborn in a new way. And that is good. She says this again is why you need to let go of wanting something. And allow it to be revealed through life. Through the experience of living and trusting that that experience is taking place already. There really seems to be a bit of a distraction here with this. And there doesn't need to be. But she does do one thing. Um, she shows me that the crystal is the heart of the staff. And she takes the crystal out of the white oak staff. And um, I see that you're this tree that has grown tall. And uh, this tree can now be transformed into a wizard staff. <sighs> this tree is not a white oak. It's like, just like your average brown oak tree. But it's really, 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 really tall. <laughs> and it's reaching her at a higher dimension. But does, do we cut you down in order to mold you into a staff? So that I can place a crystal inside of this now staff? Or can we allow you to stay alive and growing? And I can place this crystal as an etheric energy gift um, into the heart of this growing tree, which is you. A living, thriving, beautiful, extraordinary tree. She says that it is against her creatrix na nature and destructive force. She does not feel it is appropriate to destroy this tree but to allow this tree to continue to grow because killing it to transform it into a wizard staff is not the power um, that is appropriate for this tree but giving this tree this energy gift is appropriate is good she shows me this so you all right so i'm seeing that uh, she's showing me your mind again i mean there's many different phases that i i experience you transforming um throughout this conversation and you you actually something it's like an epiphany takes place and you start to see that it's uh, the energy of love that is your wizard stuff because this etheric crystal isn't a physical crystal is it it's it's love and light and she's placing love and light into your heart which is again the en energy of the wizard staff and again the energy of the wizard staff is already within you and nobody can take that away You're, you, you're totally getting it. I mean, I feel you're totally getting this. <laughs> Let me see what she says next. She says that she's proud of you. And I mean, when she says she's proud of you, it's like, I'm so proud of you. Like, But it's not even like that's like super, 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 super like, <laughs> proud of you. Like it goes on and on and on how super proud of you she is. But it's like so genuinely said. It's like, I'm so super proud of you. <laughs> but it's like super, 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 super forever. That's how super proud of you she is. And she super adores you and loves you and smothers you with hugs and kisses. And she gets kind of funny because uh, she, this like master teacher of like the creation and destruction, like um, twin soul or something, she's uh, um, transforming back into this like um, um, full figured gal um, with lots of red lipstick. And she's kissing you all over your face so you can actually see the red lipstick. <laughs> so you can see how much she loves you. <laughs> she's doing that right now. She's so cute and awesome. I like her. She shows me one more thing here. 
And it has to do with you feeling safe, like um, feeling a sense of safety and security. And she's so, what is so, um, it's like she's surrounding you with a protective energy. I don't like to use the word protective because then that creates the idea that you should be afraid of something out there and you literally shouldn't ever be afraid of anything. Um, but it's just like um, she wants to help you feel um, a, an added uh, a layer of safety. Like she wants you to allow yourself to feel safe. Like I am safe. There's something about this that is important for your energy balance. Like even to say I, I am safe or I feel safe is actually going to um, help you. And she's doing this in this session to just give you the the feeling of her wrapping her arms around you and like an everlasting hug to let you know that you are safe in her arms kind of thing it's really kind mm. <laughs> okay <laughs> that's all i have to say that was so cool what a neat experience <sighs> thank you so much mm. That was wonderful. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for that. Thank you so much for sharing. All right. And uh, for those of you out there, if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Okay. <laughs> Thank you all for watching and I wish you all a wonderful day.